subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. You know something? On a day where we heard that Vince McMahon, his health is on the decline, that we heard that death is knocking at the door of Vince McMahon. On a day where we heard that Vince McMahon is rapidly declining. Now, that's been the big headline of the day, obviously. That's the word, that's the, 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 that's the talk of the world right now. Nobody can actually take their, their mind away from, from that fact. Now, in the event that you didn't get notified of this video, it's so crucial and important to just search up Sean View on YouTube. Set a reminder. I want all of you right now to please take your cell phone out and set a reminder on your phone that Sean View uploads multiple videos a day. I call myself prolific because I do many works, many works, many workings, many videos a day. So in case that YouTube doesn't notify you, but I, I want all of you right now to click the bell, turn on all notifications. But in the event that YouTube doesn't let you know I've done a video, just search up Sean View Ent on YouTube. Go to my main channel, my official page on here, and you'll get all my videos, my whole catalog of videos because I'm trying to make this my full-time job. I can't do this without you. If you're not clicking, if you're not watching, if you're not commenting, if you're not becoming a channel member, none of this happens. So thank you so much to each and every one of you. But in the wake of hearing the dastardly and the horrible thing about Vince McMahon and his health, there has been some uh, conflicting rumors coming out about, is this a cover-up? Is this because Vince McMahon is going through this court thing? Um, is, is Vince le just letting himself go? Um, is Vince heavily depressed to the point where he doesn't know what he's doing? Um, and, and exactly why is Vince McMahon suffering? Why is Vince McMahon deteriorating at a high rate of speed? Now, we are hearing rumors and speculation. That now, well, here's here's here is what is not a rumor. Okay, we know that the current Raw and SmackDown general managers are set and locked in, are toned in. They are the authority figures on Raw and SmackDown. That being the SmackDown general manager and the Raw general manager on Monday and Friday nights. Now, obviously, Triple H has a hell of a workload right now going on. And you probably have, well, you know, the Raw General Manager, Adam Pierce, And we all know the SmackDown General Manager. But both, both, you know, both these entities from SmackDown and Raw, both these guys have been in different promotions at different times, ROH and TNA. But who's going to oversee them? Because you see, as of late, According to rumors online, we are we are receiving word right now that Raw General Manager Adam Pierce isn't doing enough. At first, he was good, he was solid, he was on point, he was fire. But uh, there, there's a feeling uh, in the community, in the internet wrestling community, the WWE community, that Adam Pierce isn't living up to his name. After, especially after what Bronson Reed did. Not only did he take out Seth Rollins and put him on the shelf, not only did he take out The Miz, he also put R-Truth on the shelf and injured R-Truth, did Bronson Reed. And all Adam Pierce did was fine him. He didn't suspend him, he didn't fire him, he didn't release him, although there was rumors and speculation that he was going to do such a thing. Well, now it seems as if both the Raw and SmackDown general managers are going to be more watched. There's going to be a little bit more stress they're going to be under a microscope now because, you see, according to rumors and speculation, Linda McMahon is going to be named the commissioner of the WWE. Now, Linda McMahon has been in power in the WWE before. We have seen her fire Jim Ross. We have seen her turn heel. We have seen Linda McMahon even tombstone pile driven by Kane. We have seen Linda McMahon name Stone Cold Steve Austin the commissioner, the general manager of Raw. We have seen Linda McMahon name Mick Foley the commissioner of the WWE. We have seen Linda McMahon make pretty substantial announcements, and she has a big part to do with the WWE. And, of course, Linda McMahon and the McMahon name is synonymous with the company, along with Stephanie McMahon, Shane McMahon, and, of course, 
Vince McMahon. Now, what does this mean? If Linda McMahon, again, this is a rumor, if Linda McMahon is named the new commissioner, she would oversee Raw and SmackDown, and she would look at the SmackDown GM. She would look at the Raw GM. And right now, rumors and speculation say that Linda McMahon isn't too happy with the way Adam Pearce has been conducting his business. It seems like Adam Pearce is way in over his head. It seems as if Adam Pearce may need a little help. Now, again, I don't know what that little help consists of, but Linda McMahon is going to be talk, you know, taking this through with a fine, a fine comb going up and down, sideways, seeing exactly what the hell is going on here. Now, do you think this is a good idea for Linda McMahon to come back? As we have seen prominently, Stephanie McMahon has come back to WWE, but she's been more in the crowd. She's been more backstage. You really haven't seen her in the ring, per se. Although she was at WrestleMania 40. She was at WrestleMania 40. But, no, guys, what do you think about Linda McMahon coming back and overseeing both Raw and SmackDown? Now, I'm not saying Linda McMahon would be on TV every week. Hell, as a matter of fact, you may not see a whole hell of a lot of her. You might see her tweet. You might see her send a text. You might see her send an email. You might see her decisions put forth by Michael Cole or Pat McAfee or Wade Barrett. Um, you know, through her, her, her power might be coming through the announcers. You might not see a whole hell a lot of, of Linda McMahon, but this would not be the last time. And sure as hell not the first time Linda McMahon has, has had something to do with WWE. Now, would this change things for you? Would you be interested and would you be invested or has the Linda McMahon train past the WWE bye. Um, and what do you think about Adam Pierce? What do you think about the Raw general manager? Do you think he's kind of letting things just pass him by? Do you think he's not being as um, strict as he should, as strenuous as he should? Uh, do you think that Adam Pierce has become a little soft as the Raw general manager? Again, guys, it's all up to your thoughts, your comments, your opinions. This show is in your hands. Remember, your view, your view, the one that's listening to me right now, the one that's hearing me, listening to me, and pressing that play button, your view is the only view that matters on this very website. So, ladies and gentlemen, it comes down to you. What do you want to ultimately see Linda McMahon do? And with Linda McMahon having that power, that brass, how is this going to escalate things on WWE programming? Is the Raw General Manager's days numbered? What about the SmackDown General Manager? Who's doing a better job? Who is, or is things just so out of line, it's ridiculous? Ladies and gentlemen, again, this show comes down to your thoughts, your opinions, and your views. Remember, guys, if you're notified of the video, it's very important to just click the bell, subscribe, or check out Refresh. You can hit, hit that Refresh button. Or just, you know, on your phone, how you go like this with it and refreshes the page. Just check out Show and View hourly, daily, for the most consistent, prolific, and the most amplifying WWE news and rumors because this is your reigning place, the face that books this place, Sean's View Entertainment. Subscribe.